Hey everybody, welcome back to Anguilla. I'm going to take you today on the world's shortest international commercial flight, scheduled flight. And I'm also going to talk about when Sim Update 4 is coming out, when the PMDG 737 is coming out, the whole shebang. I think I've got a pretty good idea of what's going on. And I'll tell you what to look for in terms of whether I'm going to be right or not. So let's get into the airplane here. Let's go rotating beacon on a mixture rich carpet is non-existent. Uh, don't need, eh, let's turn the fuel pump on for priming. We'll go master and battery switches on. We'll crack the throttle and, uh, let's see. We should get. Some fuel flow there for a little bit. And then once I've been corrected on my uh, G1172 procedure here. All right, fuel pump coming off. Mixture to idle, toes on the brakes. Crack the throttle, take a look outside, make sure there's nobody out there to kill or maim hand on the mixture. and bring the mixture in as the engine starts. We'll pull the throttle back here to about a thousand. Turn on the uh, G1000 here, turn on the avionics. So my opinion on when the Sim Update 4 is gonna be released is, has been pretty much set in stone for a while now. And um, before I give you the date about when I think it's going to come out, let's talk about when, uh, let's talk about what's in it. First of all, I released a parking brake here. TLOD is 400 OLOD one, uh, 200 on this flight. So, I mean, this is pretty much maxed, uh, as soon as the airplane gets rolling, tap the brakes. This is pretty much maxed ultra settings here. With the 4090, I've got live traffic going. There's a nice King Air sitting over there. So, a couple of really important things. I mean, first of all, performance, right? Um, the performance of the trucks that smash into you head on on the tarmac is excellent. Um, the FPS performance in both flat panel and VR is incredible. I mean, you're going to see massive performance gains across the board. Now, does is this going to preclude some people from thereby jacking up their settings and their performance is not going to be as good as they had hoped and then complain about it? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, I just think that's kind of inevitable. People, you know, people are always trying to get the max everything they can get out of the sim and i understand that but i i think that um the performance increases that we're going to see let's go uh landing light on taxi light off final push course looks clear i've been corrected on a lot as a matter of fact about my 172 g1000 flying i have no experience in the newer 172s in real life. I didn't even I didn't even know that they flew like homing engines in these airplanes to be honest and uh, We'll get on center line here to taxi back a little not gonna taxi back all the way just a little bit But you're gonna see massive performance gains. I mean on the order of I, I wouldn't be surprised if people see 50% jumps in frame rates. In other words, if, you, if you're getting, let's say you're getting 30 now, that you'll be getting 45 in, uh, in Sim Update 4 once, it, once it's released. I almost called it Sim Update 4 beta. Um, but in Sim Update 4, once it's released. And I think this is, I think this is good enough here. Uh, fuel pump is still off. Mixture is rich. Get ourselves turned around here. Uh, heading into Cater. Checks for the runway number. Truck on the runway makes perfect. I mean, that it's, it's, we, 
why why wouldn't it be I right, take off power coming in take off power is set engine instruments are in the green airspeed is alive truck is in route I mean it's just ridiculous it, it's just five years now of this just absolutely ridiculous um The airplane pitch down a bit here. For review, why? Um, so the performance gains are going to be huge. Uh, there, there are some issues that people are still having with um, with view switches. All right, so like if you have a view set up like this. That those views those view changes cause stutters and during some experimentation I have discovered that those stutters are from frame gen so if you're using frame gen and you're getting those stutters in sim update 4 or the beta as it currently exists turn frame gen off and see if those stutters don't go away my guess is they will there's a thousand feet no fuel pump to turn off just continue our turnout here uh, we'll go 1500 feet this is eight minutes it takes this flight this is the shortest commercial shortest scheduled commercial uh, passenger flight in the world there's the Anguilla stutter um, this is beta version 1.6.31 by the way so the other things we're getting are uh, it's okay there's uh, 1500 feet Essentially what we're going to be getting is so the next things we're going to be getting this weight and balance stuff, right? So um, Weight and balance changes over the course of a flight are going to be able to be represented now by developers and they're going to be able to uh, Mimic those changes because obviously your center of gravity is going to change as fuel burns off Um you know, or if you throw a passenger out halfway through the flights, that sort of thing. Um, but the, uh, so that's going to be a change. And then, of course, the rotational dynamics that I talked about in a previous video, where uh, the, the basically side loads on the airplane on the ground are going to be much much better in sim update 4 only in this aircraft and the extra 400 right now but those parameters are open to developers to adjust and so you'll be seeing those changes coming in you know across airplanes as they as they become as they are implemented by developers um, so those are the kind of the big things the uh, the ground effects have been the, had some issues with ground effects that they've correct the ground effect that they've corrected which is essentially the cushion of air that you float on when you're within one wingspan one wingspan of the ground uh, this generally comes into play on landing so I think the the whole landing experience is going to be much much better in sim update 4 so when do i think sim update 4 is coming out today is tuesday december 2nd i believe sim update 4 is coming out tomorrow I, there's a there's a halfway decent chance it's coming out today but i don't think so i think it's coming out tomorrow and the way you're going to be able to tell when sim update 4 is coming out is what we're going to see is uh if you are a microsoft store user you are going to see updates to the game bar you are going to see updates to the xbox app those things that uh you know those things that that run concurrently with the sim or, or affect the running of the sim are definitely going to be updated just prior to or along with sim update 4. so those things are the things to look for uh, in your MS store and once we see those things being updated 
that's when you that's when you know that sim update 4 is coming out i think it's coming out tomorrow wednesday december 3rd which is the early launch day the early access launch day for the people who've bought like the aviator the deluxe and the premium deluxe versions of sim update of of microsoft flight simulator 2024 for uh playstation you know i mean there's just no way they're going to release play there's no way they're going to go through uh sim update for beta and release the playstation 5 version of the sim on sim update 3 there's just no way they're going to do that and then update it a week later um so they're going to release it early access tomorrow so my prediction is that sim update 4 if not today is out tomorrow i do also believe that the pmdg 737 800 i i don't quite think it's going to be released tomorrow um I think that is still a little dependent on internal PMDG stuff. They're, they're very cautious about making sure everything's working fine before they release these things. We're going to have a look down. Uh, first of all, I'm going to bring some power out here. Come back to about 2200 RPM. Um, I don't, I, I'm not necessarily convinced that they are automatically going to be releasing the 737 800 as soon as uh as soon as sim update 4 is out it's possible but uh no i'm not i'm not entirely convinced on that one we'll put in some approach flaps what do approach flaps do put in one notch of flaps in the olden days they were referred to as approach flaps and what does it do it stabilizes the airplane uh, gives you some extra drag, some extra lift, and drag and lift are both stabilizers aerodynamically, so that it just makes the airplane a little bit more stable. We start into our little left-hand turn here to, to come onto a base leg, and I look down final, see if we get any, uh, any traffic. And it's runway 10, so if I have a, the 100, uh, on my little hash mark over here, I'll be on a perfect base, but the wind is coming relatively well today, so uh, so I'm gonna keep an eye. I'm gonna keep the uh, I'm gonna overturn the base because you can see I've got a little bit of a left to right wind here. So that's my prediction. My prediction is that it's gonna come out tomorrow. Sim update four, and uh, sim update for hi. You know, for me. Flight Sim 2024 has been unquestionably the sim to be flying uh, for, I mean, six months now. Um, you know, I understand that not everybody agrees with me on that one. Go second notch of flaps. I was also corrected that generally land with two notches of flaps in this airplane, which make some sense because I was I was having a difficult time seeing over the nose in the flare and that would be partially due to the uh, using full flap so we we are going to try a a uh, flaps two landing here today 20 degrees of flaps and the other thing with the, f with the full flap landing I was noticing how much power I had to keep to, to keep in to maintain the airspeed well that's that's you know very very common because the the, the last uh flap setting in most airplanes is mostly drag so your you know your your first first notch of flaps second notch of flaps are generally uh a little bit of drag a little bit of of uh of lift Whereas the the final flap setting in most airplanes is a little stutter there. The final setting, the final flap setting in most airplanes is mostly drag. So that would that would account for the high power setting I had to hold in. So about 65 over the fence. They're looking real real good. A little bit of a left to right crosswind, which is nice. It's going to help see whether the 
cro the uh, the landing changes are in fact. Ooh, look at that. I mean, that stutter didn't really <laughs> help my landing. I haven't done the normal my normal cleanup for this uh, for this beta version yet. I, I really haven't flown it until today, until right now. So. Um, lean the mixture for taxi coming in. So, never mind my performance, no, notwithstanding the fact that I jacked my, uh, TLOD and OLOD settings here, and this is a stock airport, so it may have some negative effects. Look at that D-18 sitting right there. It's the most, I love that airplane. Absolutely love that airplane. Um... We'll go over and park next to it, as a matter of fact. Well, I guess we won't because there's a truck sitting there. So, those are my predictions. The, the, the performance boost is going to be substantial in both flat screen and VR. Uh, the weight and balance changes, toes in the brakes, mixture to idle cutoff throttle is idle. We will set the parking brake, lights all coming off, avionics master coming off, then the mags, master and battery switches off, we're good to go. So uh, the, the weight and balance changes are going to be, uh, I mean they're not going to be, I don't know if they're going to be that well noticed, but I mean in terms of realism, that's a big change. Uh, the change in effect of weight and balance over the course of a flight due to the burn off of fuel mainly um the rotational dynamic stuff w which is the crosswind handling and landing di landing physics is a is another really really important huge hugely important change in fact uh coming in some update four and uh and like i said i think this is coming out tomorrow wednesday december 3rd Check your MS store for updates to Game Bar and the Xbox apps. That, those are going to be the first indication that the update is incoming. In the meantime, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope everybody's doing well. And you should be looking forward to Sim Update 4. It is going to be massive. It's really, really going to be a fantastic update. So hope everybody's doing well. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.